Hey, what's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Hey, well, you know, when you're looking for a set of uh, True Wireless earbuds, what do you really look for? I mean, are you looking for something that you can make phone calls on all the time and, you know, have the good clarity? Are you looking for something that, um, you know, will give you the best music quality possible because you're just, you know, always, you know, jamming your tunes and stuff? Are you looking for something that you can play games with or, you know, you can just have one earbud in listening to your audio books or podcasts or, you know, what's the deal? What are you looking for? What, what makes the perfect earbud for you? Oh, noise canceling. Do you need noise canceling because you got a bunch of stuff around you that's always making noise? You just want to, you know, escape all that noise and just cancel it all out? Or do you need ambient sound? I'm more of an ambient sound kind of guy. I got to have my ambient sound because especially when I'm uh, using earbuds, it's the ones that, you know, plug up your ear with the ear tips, gotta have ambient sound. Well, if all of that is a concern to you, you might wanna be paying close attention today because we're gonna be talking about the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Anyways, man, I got them in my ear. Check them out, man, they're kind of fly. So they do have the stem or what I would say boom, like a mic boom style. That way you're gonna get excellent call quality. It's, it's gonna be good because it's reaching towards your jawline and mouth. And then they have all these mics that are just always like constantly working to cancel out noise uh, via phone calls like that CVC type of noise canceling. And they do have active noise cancellation. So I've been using these things for about four or five days now just to see how they would work in my lifestyle, just to see if it was something that I would wanna keep on my person at all times. Cause I walk around with a man bag and stuff and Every once in a while when I'm out and about, I want to throw my tunes in or catch a phone call and stuff like that. So I want to see if this was going to be something that could actually work for me. So right now they're in my ears and I will tell you, I have the ambient sound function on and I can hear everything like normal. It doesn't sound robotic. It doesn't sound, you know, like it's, it's not functioning well enough and it doesn't sound like it's pulling in too much. But what I do like about them is they do have active noise cancellation. Now, I'm not the biggest proponent of active noise cancellation when it comes to earbuds because you're already clogging up your ear holes with an ear tip. But these do a great job of it by not activating a whole bunch of uh, cabin pressure as they do it where you get that kind of nauseating feeling like you're on a plane. You know what I'm saying? They don't really do that. And they have a whole bunch of different modes that you can choose from to get your optimum noise cancellation for the environment that you're in. Right now I'm outside, but there's not a whole lot going on out here, man. I got a few cars passing by, but you know, there's no people. I got a little music going and stuff like that. So active noise cancellation really isn't an issue for me right now. But if I was on a plane or something, or you know, where there's a bunch of traffic or something, or on a bus or a train or something, that would be a huge issue and you could benefit from the amount of noise cancellation you can get out of these things because they do perform really well under those circumstances. The first thing I really wanna focus on is call quality because they do provide great call quality. And that's why I wanna start off outdoors because a lot of us do take phone calls outside while we're walking or doing some exercise. I wouldn't suggest riding a bicycle or running or anything like that because you got wind coming in and feeding into the mics. But if you're just in an outside environment where you know everything's kind of subtle, you just have ambient noise, I do think the active noise cancellation via phone calls, the CVC type of noise canceling, you know there's two types. I do believe that noise canceling is good. You're gonna have a great phone call on both ends. And speaking of phone calls, you can hot swap these, meaning that you can take the right ear, uh, the right bud and put it into the case. And then you can still have a conversation or listening to your music on the left one and vice versa. It works both ways. So I like the fact that you can do that with no hiccups. You don't have to like repair one or do any kind of craziness to get that to work. But you know what, man? It's, it's really cold out here. I'm going to go ahead and grab my bag. We're going to go back to the lab and we're going to dissect these things a little bit more. Hey, man, if, if you don't mind, can you go ahead and take off your shoes? I don't want all your disgusting nastiness from outdoors on my nice carpet here. So I was mentioning something about a man bag earlier. Yeah, I carry a man bag. What? I carry a man bag because there's a lot of stuff I got to carry around now, which is, you know, my phone, my keys and hand sanitizer. I got a mask on the COVID, you know, paraphernalia you got to walk around with. And then, of course, you got earbuds that you want to carry around because, you know, I'm that road warrior where I got to have my earbuds and stuff with me. So if you're going to have a case on you and you, let's say you don't have a man bag, let's say you haven't reached that that place in your life. You don't want some big old bulky case, you know, clogging up your pockets, sticking out the bottom and stuff like that. That's just crazy. 
This case is nice because it's, it's big enough to hold the earbuds because it needs to be, right? It has wireless charging, but it's small enough for you to slide this bad boy in your pocket and not look weird with, you know, some bulky thing sticking out of you. Mmm, oh. <laughs> bruh. I didn't even tell you about that. Let's go into the lab and talk about this. You see that right there? Man, that is the JDL edition. Man, in that pearly white case. Man, that's clean. How clean? So clean, mm-hmm. So these right here are an extremely limited run. So limited that they're not even selling them. <laughs> these are special for me, but take a look, man, as you slide that open. Dude, you see that right there? Oh, that's so satisfying. Cut that. Mm, that little click right there. Then you pull your earbud out. Let me get you up close and personal, man. Look at that, man. That is a thing of beauty. I like how they've done this white. It's kind of reminding me of the original uh, Liberty Air 2s uh, where they have just the white and that brushed aluminum or gray. And it's just a nice sleek design right there. And it doesn't look silly coming out of your ear because they sit still right where they're supposed to the whole time they're in your ear. I really like it. As I said before, these are mine. This is a limited run. So let me close these up and introduce you to the family right here. Look at this array of colors. You know what? We're going to show this with some respect. Let's put this one up top. Come on in here, Wilson. There you go. All right, let's bring it down a little bit. So we got all the colors here, man, all the colors. We got this white right here, this pearl. You ain't gonna be able to get this one. I'm just showing off right now. I'm stunting. Let me move this out of the way. <laughs> you got this black, which is kind of like a Man, it's, it's got like a midnight blue shimmer to it, but it is definitely black. Let me open it up for you right there. You see that? Bam! And then you have your real black right there. So it's got like a, a dark gray and it's got that midnight blackness right there. That, that midnight blue blackness. That is clean. I really like that a lot. Then we got this stone color right here. Now this is definitely the same as you would get with the Liberty Air uh, 2s right there. It's that same kind of stone look that you get. Once you open it up, it's that same tight white with the brushed aluminum. And then you got the white ear uh, earbud right there. But that case, you can definitely see right here where it's a two-tone. You got the, the stone gray and then you got the white on the inside. Whereas uh, on this pink one, this uh, is it pink or is it rose gold? Let's take a look at this one right here. So it's got a pearl effect to it as well. So on the body, you can see that pearl effect, but as I open it up, you can see, oh man, Soundcore just went crazy with their colors, man. This is gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is. If you're a fan of the pink and rose gold movement, man, these are definitely going to be for you. These are beautiful. And last but not least, we do have this blue right here. Now, they all do have special names uh, on their website. I just don't remember them, but I'm going to call this for all intents and purposes, blue. And you open it up right there and you can see the buds are blue with that pearl effect. I'm, I am loving that pearl effect. You know what I think you should do? <laughs> This is a little extreme, okay? But I think you should probably get like all the colors and then just mix and match them. But what's really getting me about these earbuds is that they managed to pack so many lifestyle features in such a small package. The case is super small, but it, did, it does have wireless charging in there. So you just slap that bad boy on your charging pad and it starts charging right away. But by now, I know some of y'all are tired of me rambling about all the features and things that they do and what they don't do, yada, yada, yada. There's a handful of us that just look for earbuds for one function. We only care about one thing. But do they jam though? Now this is the part where I get to be a good friend and tell you how to get the most out of your earbuds because I want you to enjoy them because yes, they jam. Oh hell yes, they do jam. But here's the thing, man. Active noise cancellation usually kind of jacks with the sound a little bit on most earbuds and ear uh, headphones. So let's just go in here and, and work some stuff out together. So I'm sharing my screen with you and we're going to the ambient sound. I have it on normal, which basically means everything is off. You're just getting regular earbuds at this point. So that's, that's normal. But once you go into transparency, you'll see where it has fully transparent or vocal mode. Let's say you're at a coffee shop and you need to hear your name being called to get your frappa latte mocha latte or whatever you didn't order, even though they didn't spell your name wrong. 
I've digressed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can listen for those vocals with the ambient sound if you want to, th those people. But if you want full noise cancellation, you can go into transport, indoors, outdoors, and custom. This custom one, I really haven't quite figured it out yet, but maybe I'll go outside one day and just kind of play around with it. But my favorite two are transport and indoor because it's, or outdoor rather, because the outdoor kind of, it doesn't drown out everything because you do want to hear a horn or something, but you know, it, it just lets in a little bit, but that transport, that's the one where it cancels out a lot because you've already got quite a bit of passive noise cancellation because these things are already stuck in, in your ears. Um, so transport is going to work well for if you're on a train or something like that, or a bus or, you know, something like that. Now, when you turn on that active noise cancellation, you probably will get a ton of bass. Now it was too much bass for me, man. I really like bass, but not that much. So what I did was going in this here ID, you can go on here and you can, uh, Soundcore uh, will play a bunch of different tones for you and then you'll select whether you can hear them or not. And then they start tailoring the music to something you might want to hear. And chances are it's gonna work because it's worked on every other set that they've had like this. And I love the way they've implemented this technology. It kind of just brings forward the sounds that your ears are, are wanting to hear. Now, if that doesn't work out for you, you can go into their preset EQs. So what we can do here, and this was my personal choice, here ID works well, uh, and then you can go into Soundcore Signature. Soundcore Signature is a bass heavy sound signature, especially with that active noise cancellation on. So I just went to acoustic. I don't know why I chose that one. It was just the first one there, but it sounded fantastic. It pulled back a lot of that bass, but still left me enough to enjoy my music while still hearing the vocals and the instruments and stuff like that. Had a great experience, man. And that's pretty much what I've been jamming this whole time between that and the uh, personal, or I'm sorry, the Here ID. But for those of you who like to really go in and tinker with stuff, man, you got this EQ right here. You can just toggle up and down. Now let's just face it, man, a lot of people ain't gonna mess with this thing. You know, this is kind of intimidating, but I'm glad they have it. Uh, if in case, you know, some of you audio files might want to get in here and start messing around with stuff. And it works extremely well. I'm going to put this back on here ID because that's what I typically like. Now, if we go into these touch controls, Soundcore gives you so many options. Dude, you can set this up however you want to set it up, okay? I Me mean, personally, I like to double tap my left ear to play and pause, and then I'll double tap my right ear to skip to the next track. And then if I press and hold for two seconds, I get to toggle my ambient sound on and off or cycle through them actually, because you got noise cancellation, transparency, or transparency, and then normal. I have all mine lit up so I can cycle through all three of them. And then if I press and hold on the right, I'm gonna get my previous track. That's just the way I got mine set up. You can do yours however you want to. Let's go back to the home page man and then you can go up here and you can see where you got these settings like you know the touch tone and the firmware update and that's what i really really can appreciate about a company like soundcore who gives you everything you don't even ask for this stuff man but they give it to you anyways they give you chi wireless charging in the case a small pocketable case great sounding earbuds with app support that's going to give you a full-blown eq here id and a bunch of presets, you, you you can't decide between all them presets. Come on, man, let's just be real. Then they give you ambient sound, active noise cancellation with like four different modes and a custom one, that is just ridiculous. They give you every, oh, and the customizable touch controls. Yeah, you get a lot for your money. And that's what I really like about Soundcore. And that's why I rock with them, man. Hey, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do believe this could be some of Soundcore's finest work right here, man. Especially since they got that logo on there. That logo is fresh, man. Look at God, dog. Hey, man, I'm getting out of here, man. That means y'all got to go, too. Until I see y'all again, make sure y'all keep being good to each other. And I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button, man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?